guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when I do a new YouTube video. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. So I went to Ulta, and I got some goodies. So that makes this a first impressions video of these amazing products, which are I Love Revolution Blueberry Crush Eyeshadow Palette. That's in a little adorable blue donut. And an I Love Revolution matte lipstick in the color I Heart Chocolate. I Heart Chocolate. I just love it. Magnifique. And I'm also going to be doing first impressions of Revolution Stick Foundation. And the setting powder from Revolution. So isn't this such a cute palette? It is so squishy. Oh my gosh, I could squish this for days. But we gotta do the makeup look. Anyway, so I heard it's scented. I'm gonna see if it's scented. Oh, it's got a little mirror. Nope. I think people think it's scented because they think it's gonna be like a little blueberry donut, so I'm probably gonna think it smells like blueberries, but it doesn't smell like it. But aren't these colors so beautiful? It's just so gorgeous. I love them all. You could do so many makeup looks with this itty bitty tiny palette. Anyway, let's get into the look. So I primed my eyes with the NYX Jumbo Milk Pencil. And now I am taking the color that's like a light matte blue and I'm putting it in my crease. Pretty blue. It reminds me of the sky. Now I am putting the shimmer shade, which is a little bit darker, on my eyelid. That's a really pretty color. So shiny. It's pretty. The colors are also taking a while to build up, so it's still really pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Now I'm spraying my brush to intensify the color. Yeah, that helped. There we go. Really pretty. So shimmery. Now taking the really dark, beautiful blue, I'm going to put it on just the outer V of my eye. Now I'm going to blend in the crease with that color. Well, these colors blend nicely. That's nice. Now taking the center color, that's a pretty cream color. I'm going to blend with the crease and working my way up.
back with the same color. I'm putting it underneath my brow bone and on my inner corner. taking the color that was the matte blue and I'm putting it on my lower lash line right next to the cream color. So I decided to intensify the color so I'm just going to spray. Here we go, that's what I wanted. So taking the last color that I haven't used yet, and I'm going to put it right next to that matte blue on my lower lash line. My mom calls it a Cinderella blue, but I think it's more of a light lavender. So let's see. My mom wins. <laughs> yeah, this is like a Cinderella color. Very shimmery. It's really pretty. spraying my brush and now I'm going to take the dark blue again and I'm going to connect the corners to my bottom lash line So since the Cinderella shade was lighter than the aqua blue, I'm going to carry the darker blue over to here and put the Cinderella color right there next to my inner corner. So now I am taking the NYX Electric Blue pencil and I'm going to put it in my waterline. Now trying another product is the Revolution Foundation Stick. And I've never actually like used a foundation stick before. It's always been liquids or powders. So I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm so bad at drawing hearts. Oh, really nice. 
Wow, it's so smooth. I'm a butterfly on my cheeks. Flap. <laughs> oh, it's got good coverage too. So taking a damp e.l.f. beauty blender, I'm going to blend out that foundation. It's so soft. Mm -hmm. And it's such a cute color. Baby pink. What a masterpiece I'm making right now. See? Wonderful. The next product I am trying is the Revolution Banana Powder. And I just put a little bit in the lid. Just for those dark spots. Now just patting the banana powder. Just a little bit of the excess off. And now I'm taking this one. I'm going to put a little bit in the lid. So it occurred to me, I didn't have any highlighter on. So, I'm going to take that cream color, and I'm going to see if I can use it as a highlighter. Yep. That's a really nice one too. So I applied my contouring, my blush, and my mascara off screen, and falsies are optional too. And last but not least is the iHeart Revolution Matte Lipstick, and it's part of the collection that is called 
I heart chocolate like I love chocolate, which is so cute. And the color itself is called Salted Caramel. And I love the cat because it's rose gold and that's really pretty. I wonder if it smells. Oh my gosh, it smells like salted caramel! That's probably why they called it that. Oh my gosh, it reminds me of the salted caramel frappuccinos at Starbucks. I always get those. Mwah, Starbucks. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I also like the applicator, it's really nice. natural shade. Really pretty. So first impressions of the Blueberry Crush eyeshadow palette from I Love Revolution was really nice. Um, it, you do want to build up the colors but it's so pretty. I love them all. The way they shimmer and it's just so nice. And the way they blend is super cool too. And I just love that little donut. It's just so squishy. Just a perfect little tiny donut. I want to go to Dunkin's now and just get like those vanilla donuts with a little frosting on top. So squishy. So first impressions of the Revolution foundation was really cool. I've never used a stick foundation, so I'll definitely have to get used to it. But it was pretty nice and it worked out pretty well. And I will be doing a wear test too of all these products to see how they turn out. But I that really nice about the foundation. So first impressions of the banana powder was really nice. I like how it helped take away those dark circles. And it was really easy to apply and it was just really nice. Also the setting powder, same with that. Just really nice powders to use. I really enjoyed it. First impressions of the I Heart Revolution lipstick. I loved this. It was, oh my gosh, the color. So natural and pretty. I just love it and the smell is delightful the way it applies. <clears throat> I love this lipstick. And it's also a little bit moisturizing too. Such a pretty color. So I finished my makeup look around 3.35 and it is a little past 9 now. And I wasn't doing much actually, I was just doing homework, but I figured a little bit that the colors are still there, really pretty. The highlighter that I used with the eyeshadow is like completely on, like nothing happened to it. It is so pretty. And then I had to reapply the lipstick, but it's really moisturizing and really nice and I liked using it. And I just love the color, how natural it is. But the wear test is really nice. The foundation, really nice. Like, a lot of times if you're wearing foundation for a long time, you get really oily and gross and all that stuff. But, well, really nice. 